Hello, everyone. Uh, upon request, Richard Allen, uh, the Delphi murder suspect, remember he's a suspect. Let the court decide whether he's guilty or not. We must realize that handwriting shows us personality traits, but not what we do with them. So we cannot determine by handwriting alone whether he's guilty or not. Although there may be several clues that point in the direction of fear, guilt, and shame. His writing fills the whole page, and these people are overwhelming. They fill a room. Although the left margin follows the, the guideline, we also see an appropriate indentation that suggests he's structured, disciplined, a planner. The very tight right margin shows he's goal-oriented and is not somebody who will stop once he has uh, set his mind on a task. The crashing right mar margin, these are the words that fall off the paper, uh, are people that lack foresight and are accident prone. The reason is really simple. They're so obsessive compulsively writing what they want to write, they don't see the end of the paper coming. It means hyper focus. His signature on the bottom is slanted forward quite a bit, way more than uh, the body text. And that suggests he presents himself as a reactive individual, but he is disciplined and a planner. His personal pronoun, I, uh, slants forward quite a bit more, and this is significant. Just like the Zodiac in his letter D, which also slants forward, these people are impulsive and have explosive outbursts. For the personal pronoun I, that is more significant than for the letter D, which relates to our moral compass. The word cause is written quite a bit smaller, and that suggests fear in this case. The word had a negative emotional impact on him, and that suggests he is aware that the case is against him, or he's aware of what case is against him, and it instilled fear. There's a good likelihood the fear is related to the truth coming out. We also see a lettering that does not move forward where forward movement is expected. You can see in most of the letters, the mid zone letters are separated and quite a few letters all of a sudden do not move forward. That also suggests caution, fear. Letters that drop below the baseline suggest subconscious and uncontrollable urges. These individuals tend to suddenly act out without controlling their impulses. Now, when we combine that with the forward slant in the personal pronoun I, with the subconscious urges that he cannot control, that only emphasizes his ability for explosive outbursts. The letters dropping below the, the baseline is important because of the uncontrollable urges. However, when we do that in the personal pronoun I and the mid-zone I, then it is way more personal and significant. These people cannot control themselves. There are a multitude of lettering uh, letters uh, corrected. We see that in the F, there is a downstroke, and then it is overridden because it looked like a T instead of an F. We see that in the C and the Y, these letters are corrected. People that correct letters frequently are perfectionists. They are super ego oriented and place expectations on others. They are emphatically certain that what they do is the right thing to do. They are self-justifying. And so we also see the muddiness, the excessive ink in the writing, and that suggests intrusive thoughts. And intrusive thoughts are often sexual in nature. The excessively high upper zone structures, as we see here in the L and the B, for instance, these people reach too high into the imagination zone, so they are fantasy rich. The higher they go and move away from the 
reality mid zone, the more they move away from reality and so fantasy rich and moving away from reality suggests the potential for doing things that others find unacceptable. Now also note that the downstrokes are really heavy. So that suggests an, a, a very decisive individual who's capable of acting on his ideas. The PPIs, the personal pronouns I, are disconnected on top and that suggests a poor connection between his ideas and the urges that he has. And so he can act out his ideas regardless of what that idea is that includes amoral uh, actions. We also see that the personal pronoun I drives through the baseline, just like the letter D and the midzone I did. So these people tend to be excessively decisive. They do not see limitations and they have a failure is not an option attitude. The crossbar in the capital A also suggests somebody that barrels through obstacles. These people are confrontational. This is a driven, decisive individual. The disconnected lettering, there are, the letters are not connected. It's disconnected writing. Suggests somebody that has difficulty bonding. And the lack of the lower zone loops, which connect to the next letter with an airstroke, implies compartmentalization. So this is an individual that can compartmentalize. He does one thing one day and goes home and is a loving father. The fluctuating mid-zone, especially the mid-zone eyes, suggests somebody who does not feel accepted for who he is. He's insecure and he compensates with that with dominance. The strong personal pronoun I, the fluctuating mid-zone I, and the sun and forward-leaning slant, especially in the personal pronoun I, are befitting of explosive, uncontrollable behaviors. I do not know the ins and outs of this case other than two young girls were murdered. This is a controller, a, a dominant controlling planning individual with explosive outbursts. Time will tell whether he's found guilty or not. Let's leave that up to law enforcement.